Fluid sounds come mainly from bubbles. When a bubble is formed, it's forced into volume oscillations, giving off pressure waves that we hear as sound, like this. In slow motion, we can see the sound is radiated as the bubble forms. The volume oscillations of a bubble can be modeled as a damped harmonic oscillator, i.e. a spring. The internal gas of the bubble and the surface tension at its wall provide the restoring force, while the surrounding liquid is the mass. The frequency of the oscillator, omega, depends on the stiffness and the mass. We show how to compute the mass term more accurately than in previous work. The mass term can be calculated by computing the work that each bubble does to the fluid. We calculate this by computing a velocity potential function. Interestingly, this is mathematically equivalent to an electrostatic capacitance problem, which we can solve by treating the bubble as a conductor with unit potential, the fluid air surface as a conductor at zero potential, and the rigid walls as insulators. To compute how loud each bubble is, we solve the exterior Hemholtz problem. The solution of the interior frequency problem provides the boundary conditions for the exterior problem. This provides effects which are not possible to compute previously. If we place a 3 mm bubble at different locations in an 8 cm tank, we see that the frequency can vary by over 700 Hz depending on the position. It's lower near the tank walls and rises sharply near the fluid surface. A bubble's shape can also affect its frequency, such as this bubble which goes from an ellipsoid to a sphere, causing its frequency to drop. Our frequency model matches experiments well, such as this entrained bubble and this bubble released from an underwater tube. To get accurate bubble shapes in motion, we use a two-phase incompressible fluid solver, which we modify to track bubbles between time steps. The actions we track include entrainment, splitting, merging, advection, and collapse. Surface tension effects during entrainment, splitting, and merging are what cause most bubble vibrations. This allows us to generate fluid sounds such as these. We also demonstrate several extensions to help improve the sound and speed. These include bubble frequency extension, a model for popping sounds, bandwidth extension to add under-resolved microbubbles, and a proxy acoustic transfer method to avoid radiation computation at runtime. Here we demonstrate the effects these extensions have on the sound. The full radiation computation is always used unless specified otherwise. Here we show the effects our transfer models have.
Thank <laughs> you.